guys, it's, it's the UK here, and today we're going to be doing the second episode of this tutorial series where I try to make a style of EDM and I show you guys how I make it. So for this tutorial we're going to be doing Progressive House, I already have a Silent One set up with presets I wanted. Um, the reason why I'm using Silent One for this one is because uh, I, we noticed that not a lot of downloads were coming in last time because uh, we figured it was because most people don't have a copy of Serum because it's expensive and uh, uh, let's say it's really hard to torrent so most people usually don't have their hands on Serum they usually stick with Silent One so this is the reason why we're gonna be using it on this one I'm gonna start with this bass uh, yeah I'm just gonna come up with a bass line and then yeah so I have a bass line here it's set uh, it, it's just a bunch of notes I'm, I'm gonna play fast So yeah, it's, it's just those notes, and what I want to do for this one, uh, I want to I want to have a have it really fast, so like like that. Let me just. Uh, by the way, I EQ'd everything and uh, I added like reverb and stuff because that part doesn't really matter. Most people know how to do it, so yeah. I'm not sure, but I, I kind of want to make this shorter. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Uh, now it's time to come up with um, chords. So I'm gonna mute the basses, and I'm gonna lay out the bass line that I had for the chord, just so I have a reference. Uh. Fine, I'm gonna make this whole. And now it's I, I just like you just basically experiment with what you want. Like if that sounds good to you, you can use that, or if you want to put it up here. Like it's really up to you. I'm I'm gonna uh, come up with some chords here, and then so uh, I finished the bass line. Uh, so I basically copied and pasted the bass line into the sub this was right here uh, I made the chords I chopped them up into the same pattern as the bass line uh, and I did and then I copied and pasted the chords into the other chord layers uh, uh, I usually like I usually use this preset for other songs so I like to put it an octave higher and this is what it sounds like So you basically want to just do this, right? Uh, yeah. So just lay out the the notes like this, and now you just make a lead melody basically, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm done with the with the uh, lead melody. So basically, I followed the pattern. I just changed the notes, and this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna turn on all the layers. So, um, this is all for the for the synth synthesis part, I'd say. Now it's time to choose your samples. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using Cashmere Claps. I don't know where it is. This one. You always have to have something like that playing along, and I know that I always use this one that you know what we're gonna make our own kick because I feel like it and um, I actually don't know if I have the plugin to do that uh, I do have the plugin to do that great so this plugin is really useful it's just used to make kicks basically and the good thing about this is that you can see what runo your song is in so like my song is an E, so I can grab this plugin right here, and I can say, okay, I'm going to make all of this an E. Uh, let me see, where the fuck is E? There, fuck, yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, I feel like it sounds good like this. So, I'm just gonna make a new pattern. Really simple, just, just like that. Now we have the claps and the kicks laid. Um, for the effects part that fill in the drop, I always use this, um, what is it, this sample right here. This sample is really good uh, for pretty much any genre of music, it's, it's really good. And I also like to use the crowd machine, like, like this one. Let me just make it like that. Yeah. When you have this type of crowd sample playing, uh, you want to do your standard EQing or whatever, and then you want to add like a reverb effect and like get rid of the decay, and it's just gonna give it give it that sp spatial vibe. Like it's gonna fill in the sides more, which is what we want with the effects. We want the more powerful and driven things like the leads and kicks to be in the middle, and we want the effects to be on the sides. So this is what this is doing basically. All right, so I actually had an idea here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make this unique and then I'm gonna get all of these leads one octave up. It could work. Now we need to get rid of this. Yeah, now we make it like this. Yes, I do know it sounds bad, but we're gonna fix it. Now the effects part are basically done, so we can just add some toms. Uh, let's see, let's go on to the, uh, where is it, cashmere pack and grab some toms, like this one. I don't know. I like this one, and it's close to our key, so we can just pitch it down half. Yeah, and this should be in key, so. Let me see, let me grab like a snare or something. Now, what I want to do is have a little, some small fills here. So, I like this one because for the end of the fourth bar, you always want to have like only a small one. So like, and for the end of the phrase, you're gonna want to have like a bigger one. So let's just do this one. It's in key as well. So. You can barely hear it, but. Yeah, actually, it sounds good that we cut that out there because the synth that is in the fill is really good. So. This type of a uh, big snare, you can reverse it and like make it go in smoothly. Make it the way it's supposed to be on this side. So, like yeah, so it kind of has like this reverse effect. Here, uh, just to take note, this part right here is just the same thing but without the leads and I mixed everything in everything is ready to go but last video people requested me to uh, explain my mastering chain because they were interested in it I guess um, the mixing part is pretty simple like there's nothing oh my god there's nothing uh, really complicated about it. it's really just fading and EQing so my mastering chain I always use a no TT so I put the depth at whatever I feel like is good <laughs> I turn up the volume sometimes, like here you don't really need it because it's already there. So. Yeah, that, and then I use a isotoposum imager. That's what I'm doing here is I'm soloing the frequencies to see what ranges it has, and then I can uh, put it, make it wider or more mono. Uh, well, after the mastering, this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, download this project, and I'll see you next time.